It's 6 a.m. She hasn't slept yet. Her alarm will go off soon. She's eager for noon so she can be home already. Love is blind. If this is true, then why do big girls hide behind a oversized hoodie that could show the look of their body? Why do women camouflage every flaw with store-bought beauty as if it could match natural glamour? Why do they feel the need to fit in so desperately? It's 4 a.m. when she rocks between sobs, every tear leaving her eyes like a tidal wave. This tsunami is like no other. It leaks from the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean, where her secrets lay. It's 3 a.m. when she sits upright in her bed, woken by the thoughts in her head, remembering the previous day. The flashbacks flood in, starting with a door. It looks so innocent, but what lies behind it is years of disappointment. These are the doors of a high school. A place kids go to get tormented. This place is a battleground, filled with deadly weapons. Except these weapons are words, and the triggers are the lips of an unmindful teenager. If fired at the wrong person, it could get deadly. But why war? Soon this wounded soldier will retire from the military, grow up, and come home from the battlefield. Battle wounds fresh on her skin, but she has made it. Oh God, she has made it. The soldier now gets called mother. She has a husband that adores her. For the first time, the soldier is content with life. The war was only temporary. Greater things happen beyond this battlefield. You have to believe in yourself, despite those who told you to quit, because they were wrong. She'd been hurt in sin, now she's strong. Come on, you have to be strong. Today you might be a conversation piece for those who don't understand you. Tomorrow you will prove them all wrong, because they'll see your love before your sin, because you're all over amazing. He loves you unconditionally. The man you met on the subway, the man you called fiance, now holds the name husband and dad. Love isn't blind, love has eyes as wide as the moon, as bright as it too. You didn't seem to think that love existed. Aren't you glad you stuck around to prove otherwise? So until that happens, rejoice on being the outcast, the nerd, the one that doesn't fit in, because in the end, life is like a camera. Focus on the positives, develop from the negatives, and if it doesn't work out, take another shot.